Hi, I want to show you a basic GitHub workflow in which I'm going to modify a file called readme.md it's a very standard file that most GitHub repository, it's the front page of a GitHub repository more or less um, and I'm going to modify it not with the GitHub web interface, I'm going to use git which is a command line tool and I'm going to do this on the main or master or the most important branch the repository has I will show this using a repository, in this case this one, Trestleformal slash basketball, whatever that repository is, it's an important. But we can see I'm on the main branch, you can see that here. And my last commit that I happened to do seven minutes ago was a thing called remove merge conflict mark. Whatever that is, that's unimportant. But, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new commit to this, and I call it like something like um, show commit test demo something. So let's do that. Um, so I have git installed. So let's go to the terminal here. So this is my terminal. I'm already in the folder of the GitHub repository, so I then don't need to clone it first or go cd into it. I'm already there. Um, if I do git status, I get to see that I'm on the main branch, which is the most important branch. And there's a file called readme.md that I need to modify. So to do that you need to use a, a program, so you can use Notepad if you're on Windows or you use um, Gadget or Edit, so Gadget is a way or Vim, whatever you like best. I use Mousepad, that's my favorite editor, to modify this file. So with Mousepad space readme I can edit this file. So I see it now, you see my font is quite big because it's a YouTube video, but at the top we can see it's called Basketball, we see a bit what it's about, we see all the stuff. Um, so go to the bottom, uh, you can see here at the right that I've went to the complete bottom and I'm going to write some text here like um, edit this line for demo purposes. So I save this file, I'm going to close it and that brings me back to, to the terminal again. If I now do git status it will tell me, tell me that a file has been modified and it sa says me that I should use git add and then the name of the file to, to, to stage it it's called. So there will be uh, three steps before it's online. Uh, the first one is staging it. So you can do for example like git add readme.md which means all right, this is the file I'm going to commit. Um, because maybe sometimes a commit has multiple files. In this case you only want readme.md. If you are lazy, you could, there are there are multiple other ways. I'm gonna I'm not gonna show that. I'm gonna use add this file to the on the stage. It's on the stage. If I now now do git status, it says all right. Changes to me to be committed. This this is it. This file is now staged. Here you can also see that if you use this this command, you can unstage it. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna commit it and we use a message like demo added line for added line for demo purposes so what you see me do you see me write git commit space dash m or minus m space and then between double quotes the commit message what we in which we describe what we just did no, and I added a line for demonstrative purposes, so that's how I call this commit message. Now I have committed it, and uh, there's already a new version being made. If I do now git status, it will tell me that my branch, my version of the main branch, is ahead what is online by one commit. That's correct, I just made one commit, and it says that I, you probably want to do git push to publish this what I did on this computer. So it wants me to says hey if you want to get that stuff online you do git push. Well so I do that git push and now it has uploaded it online. You see some people you maybe you get a password question here too when you do git push. I didn't I've enabled that I don't need to do this uh, after after one time on a day. So you can look at that but if you ask a password you have to type your password your username and password. Of course you need to be a member of the repository, like if you don't have access to this 
Um, so I am part of the, this basketball repository. Like if you don't have access to this, you'll get an error message. But I'm a member. So let's double check if I really did it. So I'm going to go to the website and you see that it's still the old thing. But if I click on refresh or reload, you'll see that the commit shows up here. And that proves I have just changed the repository uh, using the git interface. Also, if I scroll down, let's take a look at, at the bottom. So, so you'll see me scroll down here. There we see the line we've added for demonstration purposes. So this is how to do it. I'm going to do this again, but a bit quicker in which I remove the line. Um, and then I call it the end of the video. So I'm going to remove this line again. So do mouse pad read me, go to the bottom, delete the line, save the file, close it to git add read me, to git commit, remove demo line, and do git push. And now I've made a new commit. And if I now go to the GitHub repository, reload again, you'll see that there will be a new version being made here, remove demo line. And if I scroll all to the bottom, you see it's gone. So that concludes my video, how to modify readme.md, but could have been any other file, using Git on a main or master branch. I wish you a very good day. Bye.